Hello. Now we reached unit number 50, act number 3, C number 4 in the last class. We had been watching how Othello was totally perplexed and Destimona was in somehow uh, inspiring or advocating him to reinstate Cassio on the post of lieutenant. And uh, now we are see we are seeing what called uh, Othello in a different mood by <coughs> poisoning by Iago that his anchor chief already has been uh, possessed by Cassio. Probably it was given to him deliberately by Desdemona. Such all false statements have been uh, poisoned by Iago and his our other loose mind is totally confused. And now <coughs> other loose says he is having now also headache and uh, he wants to get his um, handkerchief back. And what uh, uh, Desdemona reports here, Hear me, Lord, that which I gave you, I have it not about me, not. No faith, me, Lord, or the Lord describing how he got that handkerchief, precious handkerchief from his mother. And what is the real, uh, I mean, uh, real, the background story of the handkerchief. All these are very precious for Othello and it was Othello who presented the handkerchief to Desdemona. That may be the reason A.C. Bradley calls the tragedy Othello becomes almost a tragedy of a handkerchief that already we specified in the last class. So I would recommend you to follow unit by unit in the textbook and come to the conclusion of the story. That is a fault handkerchief did an Egyptian to my mother gave. Underline Egyptian. Egyptian is a magical <coughs> mean powers possessed man. It is written as he Bradley reports that this Egyptian is a uh, person who uh, has some powers of uh, supernatural elements, uh, what is called magical powers. Uh, and uh, that lady was a charmer, charmer, I mean, Egyptian to my mother gave, uh, that Egyptian was a charmer. Charmer means magical power possessed lady, <coughs> magical powers, uh, sorceress. All, all these people having such powers to uh, change the total atmosphere and the present situation to different situation. So... Um, uh, it is reported by Othello that uh, it was a very precious um, handkerchief uh, which was given to my mother and a, a charmer, Egyptian charmer. <coughs> Egyptian charmer, you underline. And you could almost read thoughts of the people. The charmer could uh, easily, such people are fortune teller people are like that. Uh, oh, Henry has written a fortune teller beautiful story in the same way. Some people are there in our, in our, I mean, Kerala also, some people are coming to our, I mean, uh, our house and uh, watch our hands. Uh, we even with the parrot, they take some cards and all that. Such charmers are available even in, during the 16th century in Egypt. So, other law reports, it was very precious and courage because my mother was given uh, this uh, <coughs> charmer. She was a charmer and could almost read thoughts of the people. She told her while she kept it. Alright, uh, our Egyptian charmer uh, told my mother. As long as she keeps this handkerchief in her hand, it would make her amiable. Uh, subdue my father. Whenever, when, till the move, as soon as, uh, till the moment uh, he has been keeping this canker chief in her custody, <coughs> she would be lovable, amiable means lovable and also whatever uh, she demands my father would uh, recognize and obey her entirely to her love. But if she lost it, underline, the charmer had told my mother, if it is lost, hmm, 
story will be different made a gift of it my father is i she ho she hold her lotally lotally hateful lotally means hateful so what does it mean chamar had told othello's mother if she lost this anchor chief ah uh, her i mean her husband my father would be her hateful person at any moment their marriage oh, i mean their um, i mean wedlock would be ah uh, <coughs> broken and his spirits should hunt a new fancies if she lost this anchor chief sometime my father or her husband would hate her and would go behind another lady that will be different so such a precious thing my mother used to keep under her custody that can kerchief when she was dying handed over to me and told me whenever i get married i should give to my wife that is the reason i gave that handkerchief to you then why did you lose it that is my question <coughs> she hold her new fancies she dying gave it to me underline she when she was dying on the bed she handed this handkerchief to me telling that i should give to my wife that may be the reason i gave you a bit me when my fate would have me a wife whenever i will get a wife i should give to give it to her i did so that was the reason i gave this encouragement to you take heed on it make it darling like your precious i i consider that handkerchief just like as equal to as equal as you are precious i underline precious i means what you are precious face and eye is very uh, useful to me very significant for me in the same way the handkerchief is very precious for me to lose to give it away were such a perdition if the handkerchief is if the handkerchief is lost Uh, that would be my ruin i will commit suicide as <coughs> nothing else could match no nothing means no other thing could match my handkerchief so my dear lady losing it in a different way is totally very pathetic for me so i must get it somehow where is my handkerchief what i gave you is it possible it is true there is magic that is web on it even in the threads used weaves used on the handkerchief has some magical powers and sibyl that had numbered sibyl means a prophet is a number in the will the sun to make 200 compasses even our universe controller the sun would give 200 times compasses revolves in her prophet of fury she would at the work that means the egyptian sorcerer the egyptian chamar who had possessed this ah uh, uh, handkerchief had been known that handkerchief was woven by a weaver ah uh, woven by a weaver by taking almost 200 years in prophet the the worms were hollowed even the worms and the, even the threads the thread used for handkerchief were hollowed and it did breed silk it was dyed in the mummy which is skill for conserve of maidens hearts in faith is it all true i don't believe is it all true most veritable most veritable most truly therefore look it and will wherever possible you find it then would god i had never seen it i have never seen it is it that much how wherefore what reason what you tell why do you speak so strangely and rash my lord you are my husband why you are talking so i mean very rashly to me why are you so serious 
if i lost this anchor chi we would buy another one why why are you so angry to me are you talking very rashly to me is it lost is it gone speak is it out of the way or the law wants to know whether it is kept in your custody or not <coughs> is it lost anchor chi for lost you mean heaven blesses say you it is not lost but lo but lost what an e if i were it is not really lost but uh, what an case what an case it were ha huh, i say it is not lost fetch it let me see it and i fetch it you go and take it i must see now my hand karji you go take it odallu <coughs> fetch it fetch it bring it out i mean fetch it means bring it out you bring that handkerchief now i mean i must see that <coughs> why so i can sir but i will not now i will do it not now i think i have kept it somewhere i will give you very shortly oh, this is a trick to put me from the suit you are doing some other uh, practice of trick that i must not ask cassius reappointment that may be the reason you are talking about kerchief now you are now uh, changing the plate i mean i pray let it cast you before received again i should tell you i must tell you please visit cassius after that you are uh, i mean meeting with cassius i would arrange this can kerchief to you fetch me that handkerchief and my mind is misgiver you bring me the handkerchief now at worst then only i want to talk to you please bring my mind is totally having doubts <coughs> come destimono come 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 you will never meet me more in sufficient man sufficient man i you will never meet me in sufficient man in the sense capable of doing such things the handkerchief i mean i pray talk of me cas you please consider cas you's case the handkerchief a man that all his time hath found his good fortune in your love never forget cas you is a man of love and he has been considering you a great man and had been associated with you for long time <coughs> if he does a mistake please excuse him and reappoint him shared dangers whenever you had dangers in the battle cassio was the man to support you i mean handkerchief i want to see handkerchief ah in faith you are to blame soon is not the man jealous that the dame i mean emilia coming emilia telling is that a man jealous i never saw this before sure there is some wonder in his handkerchief if there is any problem that he is uh, talking about handkerchief i am not i am i am most unhappy to lose of it underline destimono actually did not to mind losing it when it was handed over to the low he threw it away and during that uh, i mean uh, confusion time destimono followed it uh, or the low without noticing it that is the reason emilia art uh, emilia took uh, this uh, kerchief <laughs> handed over to iago who has been demanding it uh, for a long time with the keeping and i own fooling and cheating others this is the real story emily emilia says <coughs> i am not most happy to lose it it is not year to shows as a man my dear destimona please never believe all these men it is not easy to understand a man within one year you will take long years many 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 years to understand a man your marriage is only over now now you see this man is somewhat different in a short time so never think you can easily understand a man ah in a short time it is not a year or two shows a man it is very impossible to understand a man within one or two years <coughs> they are all but stomachs and we all but food 
This is a very important uh, comparison. They are very appetizing stomachs and we are only food. Whenever they feel appetite, they will eat us in a different way. Mean all the same way. They will eat uh, with uh, having a stomach of appetite. They eat us very hungrily. Whenever they need us, they will come and enjoy us. And after that, they will discard us. When they are full, they belch us. When their appetite is, uh, this is a technically, indirectly, uh, reporting, uh, Shakespeare reporting, all the men in the world uh, will make use of ladies and after their use, they will be thrown away. Alright, this is the 16th century opinion by Shakespeare in Odalu. So, Emilia, through his insignificant character, Emilia says, all men in the world are like that. They will exploit women. After exploitation, after making use of it, they will throw it away after their uh, appetite of food. <coughs> when they are full, when they are full means when they are have, they are appetite, uh, stomach full, their stomach full, they will belch us, they will discard us. Belch us means they will discard us. This time, Iago and Cassio enter unit number 103. Look, Cassio ah, and my husband coming, Emilia says. Now look, Cassio and my husband coming. There is, Iago, there is no other way. It is she must do it. Lo, the happiness go and importune her. Iago even pressing, forcing Cassio. At the same, you go and visit Desdemona as soon as possible. Then only your case will be solved. So again, again I tell you, please, there is no other way, but only Desdemona can help you. Desdemona, how now, good Cassio, what the news with you? Ah, the moment Desdemona ah, sees Cassio asking, ah, what, how are you Cassio, what all the news? Madam, my former suit, I do beseech you. I had already told you my case. What is to say more, madam? I am ruined. That by virtuous means I may again exit and by member of his love. Nobody can help me. And by this way, how can I uh, live in this world? <coughs> madam, nobody is there to help me. Whom I with the duty of my heart entirely honor, I entirely honor Odalu, but uh, uh, he does not mind me. I would not be delayed in my offense, be such a mortal kind. I know that I have done a mistake, but nobody is to heed me, nobody is to listen to me. If my offense, no purpose, merit, futurity can ransom me, what all things I can do for him? What all things I can do for him? Nobody is there to help me, madam. What I can tell you? Nobody is there to help me. Shall I clothe of no force to contend, shut myself to the some course, fortune arms? Desdemona. Alas, thrice gentle Cassio. Gentle, thrice gentle Cassio means you are three times more than three times gentle. That I know. My education is not untuned. I have been advocating, advising or the law for a long time. But it is not tuned. It is not working out. But I will find my Lord is not my Lord, nor shall I know him. I don't know. Nowadays, my Lord is not my Lord. My Lord is having somewhat different opinion. We are in favor and humor altered. So help me very spirit is sanctified as I spoken for you. Whenever I remind about your case, he gets angry. What shall I do? My whatever tricks that I I tried on the bed, on the chair, on the dining table, wherever possible, I advise your case. But whenever he listens your name, he gets more angry. What shall I do? Stood within the blank and in his displeasure, even he shows his displeasure on your face. On my free speech, must while be patient. Anyway, <coughs> I tell you, be patient. 
will it will take time what can i what i can do i will definitely i will do something for you more i will than for myself dear left the suffix for you is my lord angry yahu without understanding anything yahu was is my lord angry now it is he when the hands but now certainly in a strange unquintness total totally he has a disturbance on his face i have seen emelia reporting husband iago can he be angry iago was can he be angry i have seen the cannon when it had blown his ranks in the air i like it from the arm puffed off his brother and can he be angry no 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 i can't believe or the lobby angry wherever there are lot of problems in the battlefield when the arrows and uh guns are coming against him he would be showing his audacity and he never becomes angry i don't believe my lord will become angry puffed and his brother something is a moment then if he is angry in additional in an additional way i feel something of the moment underline moment means something important moment means important otherwise my lord or the lord would never be angry so iago says something of the moment something of the moment means something important matter i will go meet him okay definitely i will go and meet him and tell what is the matter there is a matter in it indeed if he be angry <coughs> if he is angry something will be very important in his mind i must get it i will go by telling that iago ah goes out of the stage try to his malignant poison is villain he will catch this end that end in the middle he will play his role so he says i will definitely meet uh, other lord my lord and see what is his mind what is in his mind we will see in the next class thank you